Was there a difference in the games for you? I mean, nah, not really. Just you know, more opportunities. Um, I mean, last week it's kind of like a slow week, kind of like I guess you can say a slow day at the office. Uh, not really many opportunities to make plays, and so this week it just came to me, and I was able to make some plays. What did you feel about the, the overall performance of the front seven? You guys got a lot of pressure, and a lot of sacks and things. Do those things kind of snowball once they get going early? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think the physicality of the front seven, um, for sure, definitely our D line, definitely set the tone from the jump. And so when you have guys like that, or you know, being able to get back there, setting the tone on the run, stuff like that, it just makes everything else so much easier. So, you know, just setting the tone up front is what we try to live our, our motto by, and you know, being physical all around the defense. Okay, you guys had 12 TFLs. You had nine last week. You had more than seven or eight last year. Talk about getting these TFLs in these two games. Um, definitely good. Definitely something to build on. You know, definitely we're going out there trying to be hungry, trying to get you know plays in the negative behind the line of scrimmage and stuff like that. So it's definitely good to see that you know we're, we're continuing to improve and we're we're starting to see the, you know some of the fruits of our work. So definitely going out there working. And just you know, this is just one game. You know, we still got. 10 more games to play, so, you know, we just got to keep building and keep getting better every week. There's kind of been some panic, you know, ever since Addison got hurt and then decided to leave about the Jack position, but Mark Jackson led you guys in tackles today. How much have you seen him kind of step up in the last couple of weeks? Uh, I mean, you know, when you lose a guy like Addison, it's definitely a big blow, but, you know, like I said, it's Oklahoma, you know, next man up. And so Mark Jackson, you know, he stepped in and he did his thing today. So, you know, as far as him, you know, if he's always been a real productive dude, always been somebody that we knew that we could depend on, always been a consistent player. So, um, you know, it's definitely great to see a guy like that go out there and make plays today. He didn't get a chance to play with Curtis last year, but what's it like this year with what he's bringing to the team? Um, it's it's amazing because, you know, all this, all this that you guys are seeing now is stuff that I've seen for a long time and stuff that I've been seeing in practice for a long time. And so definitely it's just good to see a guy like that who's, you know, had to stay down for so long and definitely get his time to shine. So I'm just so happy for him, and it's just fun playing next to him. Can you describe, is your job easier or how much easier your job may be uh, when the defensive line is in the backfield all the time? Tremendously easier. I mean, it just it makes my game. I got to take those guys out to eat just because of the way they play. Because, I mean, they keep me safe, let alone, and it just, you know, it's, it's so much easier when you don't have a lot of trash in your face and you don't have a lot of O-linemen coming up trying to <laughs> get at you and stuff like that. So definitely those guys, they set the tone from the jump and they, like I said, they keep me safe. So it's always it's always cool that I'm able to fly around and make plays. So. How close are you to what you envisioned you could be as a defense right now? Uh, I think we're, we're just scratching the surface a little bit. I think we have so much to improve on. We have so much to get better at. Um, and I feel like just we just got to, you know, each time we get out there and just do what we do and just get better every time we step on the field. And I feel like that's the attitude that we're taking into practice every day that we're trying to get better. And so every week we just got to get better, you know, just because we had a good performance maybe last week, a good performance maybe this week doesn't mean that, you know, we have to stop working. You know, we, we, we got to stay hungry. So at the end of the day, we came into this thing hungry and we're going to be hungry all the, the whole year. Can you be, can you have a chip on your shoulder and gain confidence at the same time? Yes, you definitely can have a chip on your shoulder and gain confidence at the same time. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but like one of the best people to do it was, you know, Bake. I mean, Bake had a huge chip on his shoulder. It's just an example of somebody who had a chip on his shoulder and had tremendous confidence. So I think you can have a chip on your shoulder and have confidence, you know. In order to be a great defense, we have to have confidence. In order to be a great defense, we have to play with the edge. So um, just having those two things is two important keys to make us a great defense. Obviously, you guys always want to make an offense one-dimensional, and you guys have succeeded at that the past two weeks. How much fun is it when you do that, and then on third and long, when you know you might have a chance to kind of pin your ears back and just kind of get after the quarterback, and you guys have been really successful at that the past two weeks? Uh, it's been real good, you know, just listening to our coaches and doing what, what the game plan has been put in place to do, you know. We've just been out there, you know, getting them in bad situations early, getting them to third and long, and then after that, just – you know, everybody meet at the quarterback. So I think it's been real fun, real exciting. It's always fun when you play that type of defense. It's always fun when you're in the backfield, you know, you're back there, you know, causing havoc. So, I mean, as long as we continue to cause havoc, as long as we don't lose our hunger, I think we'll be fine. How motivated is this team, or are you maybe personally for next week for Iowa State? Um, I mean, start a, start a Big 12 play. So, you know, definitely want to start off with a bang and stuff like that. But. I mean, it's just another game, just you know, another another week. So we just got to go out there and listen to the game plan, the coaches, and go out there and do what we do. How tough was it seeing Rodney go down? 
I mean, it's always tough to see one of your teammates go down and stuff like that. So I'm definitely praying for him, you know, to just want to see, you know, all your guys be healthy and end up come out the game healthy. So, I mean, obviously, whenever you see one of your teammates go down, you have concerns. But at the end of the day, um, like I said before, it's Oklahoma, next man up. It's incomplete long run. Let's take care of it.